let's get stuck in. Hello, Perfect Drafters. Here we are again. Exciting one, as always. It's an Oktoberfest beer. Ding, dang, do. So, this one is basically the Oktoberfest version of the very first keg that I tried in this little beauty just here. A lot of talk over the Oktoberfest beers. Apparently, they are very good. Very good. So, you know, I know they've got a little bit more of a kick. There's me drinking that, so yeah, I better like it because if I don't, I'm basically drinking pretty strong lager, which I don't like. And I'm not one to tip it down the sink, so let's hope I like it. As always, we'll be having a bit of snackage with it. So got the old um, posh pig that's been sent me. In the last review, along with the Goose IPA, which is one of my personal faves, I had the um, Posh Pig Barbecue and Bacon Rib Flavour. Now, it was a gem. Enjoyed it. So, looking forward to this one. I'm going to pick the Piri Piri. Not messing about. Getting stuck in there. Because this Oktoberfest beer is a little bit special. It's that time of the year. And, you know, being a seasonal beer, I thought... I'm just going to go in for the snack flavour that I fancy the most, that, I, that I'm going to like the most, because I'm a bit of a spicy fella. I like the old Piri Piri, so that's the one I'm going in for. So due to the current situ that we're in, obviously there's not going to be an Oktoberfest this year. That's a bit of a shame, but life goes on. We're all having that bit of a celebration at home just to, just to make up for it. That's what you got to do. So that's why I'm hoping I like this Oktoberfest beer. It's the Oktoberfest Low and Brown. I've got the Spaten Oktoberfest waiting in the wings. So that one's to come. But this has been served at every Oktoberfest since 1810. <sighs> huh? I mean, if it's been going that long, People have got to have liked it. Apparently it's light bodied and golden. We shall see on the pour. I'll zoom in as usual. I'd say with the first low and brow that I had, with the very first keg that I put through, my one reservation was it wasn't that lively. And I wasn't using a decent glass or anything like that. Might have contributed to it. But basically it was a little bit flat. You know, it didn't have that. Didn't have the good bulbs. Just didn't have the good bulbs. So I'm hoping this one is a little bit more lively. Doesn't have to be absolutely popping your taste buds off. Doesn't have to be. That's fine, you know. But a bit of life's good. And I want to see it clinging to that glass as it goes down. I want to see that. But most of all, I don't want the strength, because obviously these are a bit more, a bit more potent. I don't want it to overpower the taste. So that, that, they're my hopes. Now, like I say, been served in the Low and Brow Oktoberfest tent since 1810. So, come on, a few people have had this beer. I'm hoping this light's all right, because it is a little bit darker. I'm gonna do it, I'm do, you know, the nights are drawing in, and I took a little bit too long loading the dishwasher. It's just annoying, isn't it? When you're, you're loading your dishwasher, and something doesn't quite go in the grooves right. You know what I mean? It's bouncing about. You, you probably could have washed it up in the length of time that it takes to shove it into the dishwasher, but it, it's irrelevant. But anyway, it's a little bit later. So I um, hope the lighting's all right. If not, might have to do some uh, quality editing skills. So I've reviewed the Spaten before. So it's from the same brewery as that, the uh, Spaten Franciscana, and also, yeah, Reviewed the old fancy scanner as well. So same brewery. I'm, I think where they brew Low and Brown is, um, you know, still in a separate brewery, but that's in the middle of Munich, in the middle of the city. Apparently, many a time have they tried to uh, get them to move it, but they've stood the ground. So for that reason, and here's a little fun fact, it's actually got one of the oldest beer gardens in the city. Yeah, there you go. 
if the Oktoberfest festival was going on, which it isn't, you would get to see over 17 large tents and 21 small tents. I mean, that is a festival of beer. It really is. But the Low and Brow one would have been one of the larger tents, and that would have held 8,500 people. 8,500 people. I mean, you can tell why they're not doing it this year, but all in a tent. All in a tent, supping some beer. Apparently, it has a big old lion, big old lion, four and a half metre lion, peering over the tent. And that's been watching over the entrance since 1949. He's got to be a little bit bored by now, but he has been like, you know, he's been, obviously he's put out each year, isn't he? He's put, he's wheeled out that lion out to have a look over the tent. He's got to be a favourite. Apparently it roars every now and again. A roaring lion outside your tent. What more do you need? In fact, it roars low and brow. Low and brow. That's just my kind of guess of what it sounds like. If you've seen it, or even in this case heard it, let me know if my low and brow roar just then was in any way like what it sounded in person. I'd like to think it is. Yeah, it's a shame in your comments that you can't send me a sound bite because I'd love it if you know people were trying to do a low and brow roar. It'd just be good, wouldn't it? So looking at some of the other reviews around the beer, apparently it is very easy to drink lager. Best enjoyed very cold, so... I've waited until it's the old three degrees, of course, but apparently it has got plenty of flavour for that light coloured beer, so looking forward to that. I mean, so far, throughout my reviews, what lagers have I had? What lagers have I had? I've had, I've had Spaten from the same brewery, like I say, and that, that, is, uh, that is my fave so far in terms of lagers on there. I've had a Stella. Didn't didn't review that, but again, enjoyed it for a Stella, you know, because I'm not a Stella drinker. The Golden Goose Lager, probably enjoyed a little bit more than the Stella, but less than the Spaten, because the original Low and Brow comes below the Spaten for me as well at the moment. I'm hoping this one gets the old top draw slot in terms of lagers. It is a seasonal one, so it's not always available, but it's available now. We're just creeping into September. In fact, as I record this, it is the 1st of September today. Proper into it now. Proper into that night drawing in. I fancy a little bit more boom in my lager. You want to warm yourself up a bit. The nights are coming in. You know, get your blanket. Get the fire roaring with the low and brow roar. Yeah. It's all about the roaring. And then fire down some spicy peri peri posh pig snacks with a low and brow. Yeah? I mean, I'm painting a picture. I'm painting a picture. And it's a cosy one. I have seen someone say this is the strong lager that started it all. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm not, I'm not actually sure what other strong lagers there are. Because I'm, I'm, you know, I'm generally not a strong lager drinker. But... Yeah, some of the Belgian beers, yeah, they 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 they're just a bit too far, aren't they? I mean, I do want to try the Quack. I do want to try the Quack. Apparently, that's a head spinner. That's a head spinner. So, got to be wary of that one. But then, like your Duvals and your Chimes and things like that, you know, when you're getting your eight percenters, it's a little bit much. It is a bit much. You obviously only need your half pints for that. Whereas this coming in at six point one, you know, eight percent. Which I suppose, you know, my fave, the Goose IPA, is 5.9. So it's not that much more than that. But it is still a bit of a strengthy one. Bit of a punch. So let's see if it slaps me around the old taste buds. Let's see if it kicks me in the head. Uh, hopefully not. So unfortunately, haven't got a low and brow glass. And there are some good ones about. There really are some nice, like, tankards and stuff. And Beerhawk were doing, and I think they still are, they're doing a... Um, Oktoberfest kind of pack, you know, so you get your Spaten, 
you get your um, low and brow, and also you get two steins with it, and they're they're big beastly steins. You know, I've seen some good old good old pictures of people, you know, proper, but I haven't got them, so can't pretend I have. Obviously, I've reviewed the Spaten before. It's from the same brewery as that, so. I'm going to bang it into the Spatenstein. Let's see how it goes. Let's see if it's got some bubs. Let's see what the colour's like. Let's have a look at the little beauty in there for a start. Let's get stuck in. So there she sits. Low and brow Oktoberfest beer. Perfect draftage. So, got a picture of uh, a lady there with the beers. Just about to serve it up. Serve up them beers, or maybe just supper myself. She might be firing all of them down. Um, if they're all this Oktoberfest beer, she's going to have a sore head. But there they are. There's that line as well. well. You can see the picture of the line there. There it is. And the line, is the line having a beer? I think the line's having a beer as well. So there we go. There's the keggage. Here we go then, peeps. He has a bit. There we go. So, not a bad head. When she blows, ah, got some bubs. Got some bubs. Yeah. I th I, just from what I'm trying to recall. I think that, just from what I'm trying to recall, I think that does seem a little bit more lively. We'll see. Not a bad pour, I don't think. Not a bad one. Let's wait no longer, people. Let's get stuck in, perfect rafters. Yeah, it's got some bobs. Still going, which, are, you know, I'd hope so. I've literally just poured it. Right. Here we go. Happy September, Perfect Rafters. And even more importantly, here's one to Oktoberfest. If I was sitting in a tent in Germany, that tent had a lion that's just roared at me and I've entered that tent. I'm sitting with some mates or mate. We've ordered a round of these. They've been delivered. They're in massive great two pint steins. They're as cold as this and it tastes like that, I'm basically in a very happy place. Because that is good. It's got a tingle on the tongue. Like I say, I didn't have a brilliant glass with the low and brow that I had, the original. Maybe that made a difference. Some people say, you're talking absolute going on about glasses. But this does seem a bit more lively. That said, I have seen a few people say that day three, day four is a little bit flat. So again, won't be able to comment on that, but, but if you've experienced that, let us know, let us know. But that's good. That is well refreshing. 
it doesn't taste overpowering. I don't think that tastes overpowering. I mean, you can tell it's not skull. <laughs> you know, it's no shandy bass. You know you're drinking um, a bit of a stronger lager, but I don't think it tastes 6.1%, which is a little bit dangerous because it tastes good. That's good. That's nice. I am going to have to message my mate to get him over here and have some of this because he's going to be ordering it. I'm telling you. He's ordering that because he's more of a lager drinker than me. And he's currently got a bud in his perfect draft. I mean, I've not had a bud and I probably would never order it. If I'm going to review that, I'm going to have to go around his house. Yeah, no, that's good. That's crisp. It's it's very refreshing. Very refreshing. Nice cold beer. Well golden. It is golden, isn't it? Look at that. Like it says, that is a golden, golden beer. With pl that's got plenty of taste. Yeah, if someone's fast forwarded it to here, don't go thinking that's a spaten, because I've got a spaten glass in. Yeah, that is low and brow Oktoberfest, and that that needs to go in your perfect draft. I, I need a bad one. I need a bad keg. I, I mean, people are going to start thinking that I just say every keg's good. I probably, looking back, I probably have overrated the Golden Goose. Probably overrated that. I may have even overrated the Lefe Lalagra, or however you want to say it. Because the Spaten and this Low and Brow Oktoberfest, that's in another league. That's in another league. That's a belter. I'll tell you something. Weekend can't come quick enough. That is good. It's keeping its bumps pretty well. It's still going. Um, you know, it's a bit of head still there. Yeah, it's quality beer. Quality lager. You know, like I say, 6.1%. How much was it? So the Low and Brow original is £31.90. The Oktoberfest Low and Brow, £33.90. Now, it's out of stock at the moment, as I look at this moment. I'm sure it'll be coming back in. For the sake of two quid, bang this in your basket instead. Do it. My word. My word, am I looking forward to that Spate and Oktoberfest. I mean, I don't want to just, you know, ditch this little beauty. That ain't going to happen. You know, that, that's being enjoyed. That's quality. £33.90 of goodness, that. It really is. I could just imagine one of those big old steins, though, with that. Two pints of that. Cheers. Bang! You know, banging about in a tent. <laughs> I mean, I'm not banging in the tent and the missus wouldn't want that no one would want that God, picture the scene people i'll tell you what i need to get some people out to germany for an oktoberfest smash next year and i'm in that tent i tell you i'm in that tent i'm in that low and brow tent i'll probably be in every tent not at once that's impossible how do you visit that many tents i don't know how long is it on for just looking at how long Oktoberfest is on for normally. The last time it was cancelled was during World War II. I mean, it's interesting when you look at these things. Top questions around Oktoberfest. It is the top questions. Why was Oktoberfest cancelled? Come on. Come on. Just said, 8,500 people in a tent. Do you need tickets for Oktoberfest? free to attend. What's the best time to go? <laughs> the general hours are between 10 a.m. and 10.30 p.m. I mean, that's a session, isn't it? Is there Wi-Fi at Oktoberfest? Forget your Wi-Fi. There's something else to be done, people. 
that gets a thumbs up from me. It really does. I'm going to, I'll tell you what, always refer back to my rankage of, of kegs. And I'm going to have to do that again at some point. Where am I going to slot this in? It doesn't quite topple the goose. The goose is still there. The goose versus lion. It's a battle. It's a battle. But the goose is just pecking him. Just pecking him. But only just. And I'll tell you what, this Lowenbrow for me, Oktoberfest Lowenbrow, so far from what I've had, is in at number two. He's in at number two. And I didn't think I'd say that. It's beating the Cali Pale. That's what I'm saying. It's beating the J4. It's only second place to the Goose IPA. I'm giving it a nine. Maybe a 9.5. It's hot on the heels. And it's the first pint of it, alone. Snackage. Let's crack in to the Posh Pig Peri Peri. I'm not going to read the whole bag again. Because I did that on the last review. Look at that. I'm not going to go through all the facts. But what I am going to go into is this bag. I enjoy the barbecue bacon rib. I thought that flavour was just spot on. You could get that kind of ribby taste from it. It was nice. It was good. Wasn't overpowering. Very easy to eat. I want these to have a bit more power though. Power to the Piri Piri. Let's go. Yeah, again, peering into the bag, looking quality, looking nice. Same kind of quality as the, uh, as the last ones. I won't hold it right up to the camera, but yeah, that one looks like it's got plenty of flavour. Let's get him in. They're good. They're good. I wouldn't say they're massively powerful on the flavour. I I do like a lot of spice. Oh, there's a bit of aftertaste there. No. There's a bit coming through. There's a bit coming through. I mean they're not they're not really spicy or anything like that. But I do like a lot of spice. The pleasant tasting though. You can tell the quality, which I didn't doubt after the last ones. Peri Peri flavours there. Quality pork crackling, you can tell the quality. I thought I would like this Peri Peri the best, but I would say I prefer the barbecue bacon rib. If you're expecting it to be really spicy, you might be a little bit disappointed. They're not really spicy. Maybe I'll, maybe I'm wrong with the peri peri. I mean, it's more like if you know, if you're in, um, if you're in the old Nando's, then your strength rating is on the lemon and lime job, though. Whatever it is, mild, mild. That's what I'd say. Personally, I like extra spicy, hot. You know, three, four chilies. This one, probably one chili, but it's pleasant. And the pork crackling is nice. So if you like the kind of mild peri-peri and you like pork crackling, bang these down. These are for you. So what I'm saying is, good beer snackage. Low and brow Oktoberfest. Thank you very much. That, that's a beauty. If you've had a go on that, let me know what you think to it because always interested in your comments. What am I going to review next? It's going to be the Spaten, isn't it? There she is. The Spaten Oktoberfest. <laughs> yeah, that, before I was looking forward to that. Now, now, I am well looking forward to that. Reason being, because if that lower brow, before I was thinking, it's probably like a 6.5 or a 7. The original Lowen Brown. I enjoyed it, but it was a bit middle of the road for me. They've Oktoberfested it, 
And for me, they've given it another 2.5 points. They've made it jump to a 9.5. This before, I think I gave it like an 8 or an 8. It was. It was an 8 for the spate. It was an 8 for the spate. So if they've done that again, they've cracked the 10 barrier, which you can't do, really. But, you know, it, it's got the potential of a 10 out of 10. It's got the potential there. Will it be? Who knows? Who knows? Well, probably some of you know because you've probably had it. So if you have had it, drop a comment below. Let me know if you think I'm going to appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe because I have got a little gem of a surprise in the next video. And I'm not just saying that to the old subscribers. <laughs> Honestly, the next one's well worth watching because I've got a little surprise in it. For now, that, that is a nine. It's a 9.5. It's pecking on the goose. It's not pecking on the goose because it's a lion. It's roaring at the goose's tail. But that's a 9.5. It's still got some bubs going. Cheers, Perfect Drafters. Happy Oktoberfest. Thank you.